So keep this step by step. This is one of the spark plugs I already took out. I'm not sure you guys can see that. So the sizes you're gonna need is a 5 8 and then I'm not quite sure what the size is. I think it's a 10, 10 millimeter. That's what I heard a, a guy say. So let me see. Oh, I'm gonna need another one. So for sure, you need extenders. And use the 10 millimeter. I already took the first one out, so you loosen that up. Once it comes off, put it to the side, have both right there. Take this off, make sure you pull the little clip right on this thing. Pull up, swap it. Make sure I got the right one. There you go. Lefty Lucy, pretty tidy. And then down the hatch until you feel like you got the spark plug. Lefty Lucy. And it does take a while, so just keep going. And then you can feel when it gets loose. And then, oh, oops. oops. What I do recommend is that you do get a suction. You can see how the spark plug is like really done. And then, let's see. Inside there is like a little plastic suction. I don't know if you guys can see that. In there. And what that does is pretty much it grabs the spark plug. So um, that's two right there. And then this one is the new one I got, the HKS 45 XLs. And this is specifically made for like for high performance on the Elantras. So you can see the branding right there. And then we're gonna pop this one in. Getting mixed up here. Okay, so. All right. Make sure the the pointy part goes down. No alcanzo. So that's the first one done. And the second one done. I'm just gonna tighten this one up. Not too tight. Yeah. 
<risa> se tora. Como que la aflojas poquito. ¿Cómo? A la matraca como que se le fuera a dar, como se le fuera a quitarla. No más dale poquito. Ahí ya, ya, no, no. No. So currently just tightening up this bolt right here. Just finish this one completely. It was just a simple process of reverse. So let me show you. So the spark is in there already. Push this in there. So it's not gonna tight. And then pop this. Get your 10 millimeter socket. Put the nail back in. Repeat the process four times, pretty much. Fairly easy. Don't have to pay for someone else to do it. You can do it yourself. You got the time. You will save a lot of money. Don't make it too tight. Same thing as like the spark plug. Don't put it too tight either. But it's got to be tight. Man. Too tight. And up to the next. Then on to the third one. This is the finishing part of it. And then just gotta do the fourth one. Make sure it's always pushed down all the way. Do a quick check. Make sure it's add on to the spark plug. Oh yeah, there it is. Took a while. Make sure it's not too tight either, but it has to be a certain amount of tight. Just a little bit. The precaution is keep them all the same. Let me check it. Okay, this one's pretty tight. Okay, that's pretty good. So, on to the last. And then, uh, this one's a little tricky. Let's get this stuff in the way. Reaching over too much gets me tired, so I gotta pull back a little bit. Alright. So I'm gonna do the same thing again on the last one. If you guys have already seen the process of me doing it, just pull in the clip, pull it back, and then just pull up. And then I'll pull out the spark plug and everything, and I'll tell you guys how it went once I'm done. So here's all the old spark plugs right here as you can see they're all burnt they're all done here's the boxes to them if you want to know exactly the name and everything iridium plugs mixed with like platinum or something like that right here iridium plus platinum double performance hks super fire racing um simple so you do need the extenders when you do this here's the car running right now I'm about to put the cover back on. So, simple process. Do not pay to get someone to do it for you because I feel like this is way too easy for you to be doing that. 
I struggled a little bit because this is my very first time ever changing spark plugs, period. And I didn't know exactly how to use my dad's tools. That's why my dad, you might have seen him in the video a little bit. He tried to help out. And to make sure I don't, you know, mess up or anything because these aren't cheap. The ones that I got was around 140, 150 for all four. Depending on your car, what, what kind of car you have, it's gonna charge you different. So I think the box is in the garage. Let me just remove everything off the, the little quick so I can plug it back on. Just those three little inserts and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I made it a little complicated just because originally I wasn't really gonna make it and it was like a off and on, off and on, but there she is running perfect. I saved a lot of money. And hope you guys learned something. I got some I got a couple clips of me doing it. So whatever you see me do, if you have any more questions on exactly how I did something, I'll send you guys a picture or something. I will see if I can put a picture on the comment section. But I think I made everything pretty simple. Um you just, you just do need the specific tools like the 10 millimeter and then the five eighths and then if you have that little i forgot where i had it right now but i think my dad took it but it's a tool it's pretty much like a like a socket and the inside is a plastic thing to hold the spark plug so if you guys can find those it'll be a lot lot easier good thing i had it but yeah it's pretty much it here's the old one compared to the new one you guys saw all right here huge difference oh my god these were pretty much done so hope you guys enjoyed like share and subscribe see you guys in the next one peace